what is those quality control system that we explained in here the first item is the quality control system is general they need to have a, a, a quality control system and they have to uh, identify authority and responsibility for a people that they are in charge of the quality control or in charge of the all the things that indicated in the appendix 10 and then is the organization chart how they purchasing work how the receiving material inspection works how the design uh, you know uh, process is there how the relationship between the quality and manufacturing production and procurement all of them is need to be indicated on the organization chart and the quality manual and uh, you should know that the quality manual should be sent in advance to the ASME for you know for for review before performing any audit that we explained in here so there's going to be a quality manual which normally is going to indicate all the requirement of the appendix 10 and then they need to be submitted in advance and they kind of have the chance to review that quality manual and then make the audit drawing design spec control material control all of them should be indicated on the quality manual or its attachment or in the system to show that the latest applicable code is going to be used on a design and manufacturing and inspection and testing or the customer spec is going to be you know used and all of those requirements is going to be included on the design and inspection manufacturing and testing of the pressure vessel examination and inspection program how going to manufacturer is going to be you know have the inspection and the examination to be performed and how the authorized inspector is going to be uh, you know have a access to go inside of the facility whenever it's necessary and to make his inspection and and uh, an evaluation from the quality control system and also for any individual pressure vessel correction of the non-conformities if there's a non-conformity happened how they you know they the manufacturer is going to deal with that they should indicate these things on their quality control system and and have a, some proof that they if they have a certain process to uh, you know follow when there's an unconformity happens and the welding how they're going to make a welding how they you know uh, have the their welding procedures to be approved based of the asme section 9 procedure qualification record and the welding and welding operator qualification all of them should be indicated on the quality control system based of the appendix 10 of the ACME section 8 division 1 non-destructive examination how the non-destructive examination is going to be performed the qualification of the personnel and the procedures all of them should be indicated in the system and then heat treatment they need to have a you know a heat treatment procedure and also to show how they're gonna perform the heat treatment. Are they outsource, they insource, and they what kind of a uh, you know the equipment and process they're gonna use for heat treatment when there's a there's a pressure vessel designed with the heat treatment and calibration of the measuring and instrument that we are going to use on the manufacturing process like a pressure gauge for hydrostatic testing, tape measure, all of them should be have a a system for their calibration there's not going to be any direct question from the appendix 10 but the things you know, need to know is that uh, this, there's appendix 10 is about the describing a quality control system to for any manufacturer to be able to be a, 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 a authorized per service manufacturer and also the other point that you need to know which is is might be an exam question that that's a quality manual which is this item normally indicated there and it need to be submitted in advance and before any audit uh, by ASME on any pressure vessel manufacturing facility and record uh, record retention when they are doing the you know design and then design documents and then drawings and also uh, inspection and testing uh, records all of them should be retained how they're going to retain these documents should be uh, come in the uh, on the quality control system and indicate how they're gonna you know uh, retain this uh, retain these documents which are things based off the appendix 10 they have to retain these documents for three years by the way this is a 
another requirement that they need to be indicated in a quality control system and also sample form. Okay, we, we talked about the QC system and the QC system always comes with some form to follow these procedures and, and uh, the system. So those sample form also need to be included in the system and to be available for review. So, and also there are some other requirements that uh, since they are not uh, subject to the, any exam question, I didn't mention that, the, them in here, I don't bring them here, so you can, you can, if you are interested, you can go and read them. But this was a general things about uh, how a per pressure vessel manufacturer can implement a QC system and get certified by the ASME.